it has been a long time since I just got on here and chatted with you guys about what has been going on in our life. And you know what? Things have been really hard for the past few months. And maybe that's why I haven't been able to. That's why I haven't really done any favorites videos or anything. I don't know, super exciting or energetic or anything like that because we've been going through a really, really hard time. So right now I have maybe 20 minutes to sit down and film a video because I have to take kids to soccer and baseball practice. We also have a swim team tonight. Things are really busy right now, but I wanted to just squeeze in a few minutes while I had it to just kind of update you on everything that's been going on in our life. If you're new to my channel, I'm Michelle and this is A Common Life. I am a mom of five kids and we homeschool our kids and we, um, usually I share a lot of things about homeschool on here or about our faith or things like that. Um, but this video is basically just going to be, um, kind of just a life update. Like what in the world has been going on with us? So if you've been around here or following me for a while, especially if you follow me over on Instagram, which is where I post very, very regularly and I post kind of the more day to day types of things. You'll probably know that 2018 was a very, very hard year for us. My mom was diagnosed with cancer, um, which was terrible, but thankfully she's doing really well right now. And we had a lot of other stresses going on and I was really optimistic that 2019 would be a better year. Well, it has not been a better year. Um, it has been just as hard, if not harder than last year. Um, and one of the main reasons for that is because our middle son, Gregory, who is nine, has been very, very sick. And he has been sick with um, like a mystery illness. They don't know what's wrong with him. And so it all started probably, I would say we've been having some issues going on about a year, for a year now. Um, but they kind of got really, really bad um, right before Christmas. We had to take him to the emergency room. And then at that point we were referred to a gastro, a pediatric gastroenterologist. And so we've been seeing that doctor for about five months now. She's the one who's been tracking everything, um, doing all of his labs, all of his x-rays, his ultrasounds, his endoscopy, his colonoscopy, all kinds of things that he's an MRI and MRE, so many things that he's had, you know, had done to him. Um, she's the one that we've been with and she's been really, really great. Just kind of tracking things. Um, cause we just really didn't know what was causing all of his symptoms and Frankly, we still don't know what's causing all the symptoms. So this isn't going to be a video where I reveal all the information to you because I don't have all of the information right now. I am currently waiting to hear from the liver specialist because she is scheduling a liver biopsy for him and it will probably be sometime this week. So if you want to follow up on whatever, everything that we've been going on with Gregory, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. That is where I will share every time we have something going on in that area. Like if we're at the hospital, like we were this past week on Friday, we were actually at um, my children's, my older two kids were in a play or my old, my daughter was in a play and my son was doing more of like backstage types of things. And I got to see one scene, my husband and I, we saw the first scene and we had to rush out and take Gregory to the hospital because his doctor called us and his liver enzymes were very, very high. Thankfully, the liver enzymes have calmed down, come down and his liver is functioning properly. They tested it on Friday. It was functioning properly. They tested again yesterday. It's functioning properly still, but his liver enzymes are very high. And so obviously he needs to have this liver biopsy. Um, he's also had, like I said, an endoscopy and a colonoscopy and he had, you know, biopsies done in those procedures and all of his results came back. They were, so they were seen by one person. Then they were sent to a specialist and then that specialist shared it with someone else and um, they came back with non-specific changes. So um, basically they were trying to figure out like, does he have inflammatory bowel disease, which was the like original diagnosis that we got was that he had Crohn's disease. Um, and that's, he probably still has Crohn's disease, but we're not 100% sure. And because his liver isn't working properly, they can't even treat the inflammation anyway, like with steroids, because you can't give someone steroids if their liver isn't working. So we're just kind of stuck in this weird situation right now. And all along the way, every single test that he has had has either been um, kind of like inconclusive or um, not super helpful <laughs> as far as like trying to figure out what is going on. He does still have inflammation in his colon, large intestine, um, which, you know, kind of points towards inflammatory bowel disease, which would be Crohn's disease. Um, but we're still not sure. Um, the he is doing better overall as far as how he is feeling. He is feeling better. There was a while there where he was really, really, really sick and he just, um, sorry, my dog's barking. If you can hear that. Um, he didn't want to do anything. He was waking up every night throwing up. He was having lots of, um, stool issues that he, you know, just 
it just no matter what he ate he was just so sick it was just awful and um thankfully those things have gotten a lot better it's not perfect but it's a lot better um and he used to be in pain all the time and he's not in as much pain anymore we actually saw a rheumatologist on friday um and she did a bunch of tests and so far they've all come back negative so um you know maybe we don't need to see her again and, and she kind of seemed that way like we may not need to see her again so um we're obviously working with the gastroenterologist and the liver specialist trying to figure out what in the world is going on with our child so it has been really hard he has been through so much they have taken so much blood he's had to have ivs multiple times he's you know like i said he's had an endoscopy a colonoscopy an mri slash mre um now he's going to be having a liver biopsy i mean it's just been it's been one thing after another and it's been very very stressful because every time they do more tests we come back with basically inconclusive results so um yeah, so if you are a praying person, we would truly appreciate your prayers for Gregory because we don't know what's going on. It could be anything from a virus or an infection to, um, you know, inflammatory bowel disease to liver failure, conditions that would lead to liver failure and things like that. I mean, it really, it could be anything from something very simple to something um, very chronic and life threatening in the end. So, um, it's just it's been really hard trying to kind of navigate all of that and not stress not over stress not worry but it's you know i'm a mom i worry i'm worried about my child and it's hard to see him go through all these things even even just in the beginning when he was getting lab work it was so hard for him so um he's doing much better now though thankfully um but um but yeah check instagram for updates hopefully we're gonna get that liver biopsy done maybe even the day that you're watching this video we'll be getting that done so check over on instagram um but that's been the main thing that's been going on for us is just like constant doctor appointments, constant going to get labs and just all these kinds of things. Like we're just, we're there all the time. I talk to the doctor at least on the phone, at least twice a week, she calls me. Um, and she's been wonderful. So that's been good. Um, and then last week or two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks, no wait, last week, <laughs> I have no track of time right now. Grace broke her arm. My daughter broke her arm. So that just added something fun to the mix, um, but she's doing fine. And um, our other kids are doing well. We are making some big changes. I shouldn't say changes, because that's the wrong word, but like we're changing things up a little bit for next year for our homeschool. Um, I am going to make a video all about that. So if you would like to see our plans for next year's homeschool and also our summer homeschool plans, because we do homeschool year round, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and I know that YouTube has been a little bit, I don't know, difficult recently. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, click that notification bell and then you'll get notifications. Um, so yeah, you can do that if you want to see any of my homeschool updates or I'm planning on doing an end of the year homeschool update as well. And then um, also, like I said, summer school, like what books are we using for our summer homeschool and then our plans for next year um, because it's going to be different. We're doing, um, I don't know, it's kind of, it's, I feel happy with the decision, but it wasn't what I had planned. Um, it isn't, um, it's honestly not the ideal situation of what I would want. Um, and I'll talk more about that in another video because I don't want to get into that in this video because it would take way too long. So, um, for now, this is just kind of like, um, mostly a Gregory update on what's been going on with him because that has been our life recently. And we've just been really busy. We've had lots of visitors, lots of, um, different types of things that we've done. I don't know, did I share on here? My husband and I went to Puerto Rico for our 15th anniversary at the end of January. Um, and he's gone away on business several times. We've had family come and visit. We've had friends come and visit. Um, we kind of always have visitors. <laughs> my parents literally left today. My in-laws will be here next week. Um, we just always have people visiting us, which we love. We love having people. Um, and honestly, this homeschool, spring, spring homeschool, I don't know, this semester has been interesting my older two kids well you probably know that our, all of our older three children were going to the cottage school but because of all of Gregory's health issues we ended up pulling him out and he really only went to a few classes um he just he wasn't feeling well he just it just was too much for him so we ended up just basically sending the older two for most of the spring semester and um yeah they did really well um not all of their classes even give grades or grade things. I, I don't think that was part of the original plan, but some of them decided to grade things. They all have straight A's um, in all their classes that were graded. So that's good. Um, and 
yeah, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do a big homeschool update, but like that was basically what they've been doing for the spring. We had um, Grace, John, Grace and John, who John's our seven or eight year old, he turned eight. Um, they're playing soccer and Gregory's playing baseball right now when he kind of feels up to it. He's missed a few games and a few practices, but he's, he's enjoying it. He's actually really good. It's the first time he's ever played soccer, not soccer, baseball. And um, swim team started this week too. So this is the one single week where they have swim team, baseball, and soccer kind of overlapping at the same time, which isn't kind of crazy, but um, it's good. So, um, but I'm trying to think that's, that's basically everything that has been going on with us. Um, I did open up my Etsy shop. Um, so I will link to that in the description box down below. I'm sharing some homeschool printables and just some kind of like printable signs that you could just print out and put in your classroom or in a picture frame or in your you know bedroom or office or whatever. Um, just kind of like encouraging or inspirational quotes and things like that. Um, that was something that when we first found out, sorry, my dog is barking again. When we first found out that Gregory, when we first found out that Gregory was, when we first, when we first found out that Gregory was sick, I kind of had all this nervous energy and I didn't really know what to do with myself. And so I decided to just reopen my Etsy shop and kind of do it as more of like a homeschool slash like Christian Catholic type of shop. And so that's what it is right now. I don't have that many items in it, but go ahead and check it out. I am and have been working on a planner. So that will hopefully be coming out sometime soon. It is a big, big job. Um, so make sure you go over there. If you want to see that planner, subscribe to my channel and also go like my shop because then you'll get like notifications and things if I post new items. So, um, yeah, that's been something fun that I've been working on. I need to work on it more so I can get it done really soon because I know people start buying their planners this time of year. So, um, anyway, that's, um, that's basically it for me. That's, I feel like I have nothing interesting to talk about for myself. Um, my life has been my kids and that's awesome. And I'm totally fine with that right now because I don't have that much to give because it has been a very, very trying season for us. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will hopefully be back here soon with a few other updates for you guys. And I hope you all have a really great day.